I think what we want to do now is talk about Kelly. You can help me here. The um, for Jamie Weisskopf, and uh, we want to brief you guys on what is happening with the scholarship. And so, since I've been doing all the talking, do you want to take over from here? Because you're the lead on okay. on running. Uh, getting the scholarship done. So I'll let Kelly take it. So, Jamie Weisshub used to be one of our advisory board members. She has been for five years and always supported the center. Whenever you need her, she helped out, promote, was really into um, running student. Um, Opportunities and internships and all that. So due to her passing, we wanted to commemorate her memory and do a Jamie Wise Cup scholarship. So Lynn and I tomorrow we're going to meet up with uh, Jetta Rogers Workman. She is the foundation director at Winslow College, and we're going to discuss the process and procedures of setting up that scholarship. And we're also going to talk to Ron Cameron, the under sheriff. Powell County and I think Bill the Sheriff um, more about the scholarship and we inform them that we want to do that and they're very excited and they want to help out any way they can. And we're really we're really gonna help us um, get the community involved and we've also been in contact with Jamie's family members and they're very supportive and they're gonna help out any way they can. So the the recommendation from Peninsula, of course, Peninsula College does offer is a collaborative college, so they actually offer the Homeland Security Emergency Management degree program. So they will offer the scholarship uh, as part of um, Peninsula College to students in that program, and uh, but they also can. We're looking at trying to raise thirty thousand dollars that can make a sustaining fund so that the scholarships can be ongoing, but there also can be a program component. So any money that we raise and goes into that sustaining scholarship fund can also actually be used by the program statewide um, and for different enhancements to the program as the, um, as the foundation and our the group kind of feels uh, a need, but first and foremost, it will be available for scholarships. And, and for Peninsula College, actually, guys, was the first uh, collaborative <laughs> college that took me up on the offer to offer the AA degree in um, when we had it online and as uh, our first uh, with the college, and so they were the very first Bible college that participated uh, with us. And so, and and Jamie was right there uh, helping to set that up uh, and made the effort for five years. Uh, so it just is just so uh, important that we recognize uh, her efforts and. Community up in Los Angeles and Powell and Jefferson, the counties really want to support this. They are gun home. Um, and so they had uh, several hundred people that turned out for Jamie's celebration of life. Uh, and so we really do think that we should be able to raise $30,000 given the numbers of people in the community who knew that Jamie dedicated her life to helping them be prepared uh, and respond appropriately for emergencies and disasters. That was her, that was just what she lived for. Um, and her family is very supportive as well. So there, uh, so we're, we're heading, uh, marching down the road, and uh, we'll be meeting with everybody tomorrow, and we'll keep everybody updated on what we're able to do and hold, hold the thought of uh, 
raise from thirty thousand dollars at a minimum. So, any questions? Well, and it, it, it will help, you know, the other wonderful thing is it will help students too, and it will also promote our programs. And so, the, again, the more that we get out and about and talk about these opportunities, the more people are aware. And also, uh, with SEMA, it, uh, is supportive. And so, the executive board um, and and I don't, you know, has talked about it, and they are supporting the scholarship as well. So, okay.